this video, I'm going to share with y'all what's in my fridge and what are some of the stuff that I eat on a daily basis to make sure that I'm taking care of my sickle cell and my health. What's up, sickle cell warriors? It's Dr. O, and the grind never stops. And today, we're going to be talking about nutritional tips and stuff to eat and foods to eat for us. So I'm going to go over my refrigerator and show y'all what's in my fridge. And the reason why I'm talking about this topic today is because during my consultations and on some of the YouTube comments, a lot of people have been asking about what to eat and your nutrition and what to focus on and what to drink. And so I figured I'd make a video to answer y'all questions. Before I show y'all my fridge and show you what I eat on a daily basis, I want to explain the importance of dieting and nutrition. And especially for sickle cell disease. I'm not gonna lie, sickle cell rivers, I was not really great with my diet. I ate a lot of junk food. You know, I would go out and eat fast food all day. I'll have McDonald's, Subway, Popeyes. And I've made a conscious decision to stop eating that that type of food. And I've also, you know, even my even what I ate at in the house was good. I'll eat a lot of carbohydrates like donuts, chips. You know, a lot of sugary stuff, food of that nature that ultimately tastes good, but isn't really good for you in the long run. And after I chose not to do that and eat more healthier, honestly, I feel so much better. First of all, I feel like I, I, I feel better. I've been cutting down on weight and ultimately I've believe that my dieting has helped me a lot with my sickle cell and has drastically reduced the amount of fatigue that I experienced and overall boost my energy. I know for sickle cell warriors is oftentimes we have a hard time with having the energy to do things and so I believe that nutrition plays a big role in that. So as y'all know I work out consistently and part of my working out is I also have to make sure that I have a good balanced diet. And so for me, a good balanced diet, the diet that I'm specifically working on is having a high protein intake with a low cal caloric intake. And so a lot of the food that I take I have, uh, don't have much calories and they are also high in protein. And I'm going to go through that and show you what foods are great for sickle cell and what foods to potentially avoid. Another reason why it's important to check your diet and work out and be fit for sickle cell disease is that there's actually studies that show that if you're more muscular and more fit, your your blood cells run a lot more smoothly and therefore they're less likely to sickle and constrict together. Whereas if you have more weight on you or are not as fit, uh, your blood, the blood in your vessels don't run as smoothly and hence increases the chances of you having a sickle cell crisis. I'm going to go over my refrigerator and show y'all some of the stuff I eat in my fridge. One of my favorite things to eat that keeps me filled with a lot of energy and protein are eggs. I love eggs. I eat eggs on like a, almost on a daily basis and eggs are super good for you. They provide you with a lot of protein and to provide you with a lot of nutrition to keep pushing forward with your day. Another great thing that I love to have in the morning is oatmeal. Uh, the oats are really good, they're high in fiber, and whenever I eat it, eggs and oatmeal, those are the two things that I feel like I can eat, and then for like six or seven hours, I don't feel like eating again, and I have all the energy to keep on moving throughout my day. So I love eating oatmeal and eggs and whatnot. And it's crazy that I'm making this video, y'all, because honestly, like me, three, two years ago, like I wasn't this conscious about what I ate, but I don't know, I guess that's part of getting older. Oftentimes when I'm, I'm hungry and I want to snack on something, instead of snacking on junk food like I used to do, <laughs> I'm choosing to snack on more fruits and vegetables. And essentially, sickle cell warriors... The stuff, the type of vitamins and nutrition that we want on our, in our body is we want more folic acid because folic acid increases the amount of red blood cells in our body. We want more zinc in our body because zinc actually helps reduce the symptoms of sickle cell disease. Things that are high in folate and zinc are often fruits and vegetables. When I am hungry, 
and I am tempted to eat junk food or eat something that isn't really going to be super beneficial for me. I often like to snack on carrots and fruits and vegetables. So, you know, some fruits include like watermelon. I love watermelon. And then, you know, I also love to have raisins. And these are very healthy snacks, you know, and it helps to take away my hunger without really eating too much food. And then another great source of snacks and protein is peanuts. Peanuts are a great snack if you're all looking for something to fill your body. I finished talking about foods and now I want to take some time to talk about what we're supposed to drink and what we're not supposed to drink. And so, <laughs> obviously, if you all saw it, I have a lot of water. And water is my best friend. I always talk about it in this channel. And if I cannot stress one thing, I, I, if, I, I would argue this is probably the most important thing, is to drink water. Water, 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 water. And, you know, I have water with me everywhere I go. If you look throughout my crib and in my refrigerator, there's always water bottles around me. And now for those of you who don't like water, which I feel bad for you because water is, is like, it's like, it's, it's everything for us with people, with us with sickle cell disease. I would then say also focus on just being hydrated. The reason why water is so important is because it hydrates you. And so there's other fluids that could do it. It's just that water does it the best and it's so accessible. That's why I'm so big on water. Uh, so, you know, anything, juices, you know, juices or any liquids that don't have too much sugar, uh, I'm a proponent of. It's obvious it's hydrated you. You know, no, even soda, I, I'm not going to say soda is the healthiest thing for you. But if it's going to hydrate you, do it. I'm just, as long as whatever you're drinking keeps you hydrated on a consistent basis, that's the most important thing. And before I leave, I, I, I want to let you know just a supplement and a vitamin that I take. And I made a video on, but I also want to just stress in this, this vitamin stress B complex. This is a great vitamin for people with sickle cell. And like I mentioned, the reason why I recommend it is, you know, you can only need to take it once a day. And it has the zinc, it has the folic acid, and it has a bunch of other nutritional supplements that will benefit you. If you'd like to learn more about that medication or vitamin, uh, you can watch my previous video on it. All right, Sickle Cell Warriors, well, that's my video on diet and nutrition. You got to see what I eat on a daily basis and how I've been changing my diet to make it more rich with protein and less sugars, less carbohydrates, and overall less calories so I can feel better and just do more. I'm just sharing what works for me, what makes me full of energy, and I'm hoping that some of these tips are able to help you. That being said, Sickle Cell Warriors, if you'd like to have a consultation with me or speak with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can click the link on the description below and to set up an appointment. And you and I can talk about whatever you would like in regards to sickle cell disease. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And you all have a great day.